Hello again, Gemini. It's September 2014. Didici here with your monthly synopsis, the astrological forecast. You know, the uh, planet Pluto has a lot to do with transformation. That seems to be the theme this month. I want to talk a little bit about that. It's in the eighth sector of your horoscope. It's been there for a while, and I've mentioned it a few times, but when planets move into what seems an apparent stationary position, then uh, that's pretty significant. Being in your eighth house, which is already the house of transformation, Pluto begins to do some pretty serious house cleaning, if I could put it that way. Deep emotions are released during these uh, transits. Now that happens, the stationary position I'm talking about, happens on the 23rd, straight after the new moon of the 24th. And uh, really this sign of Libra, which is your fifth sector, a spiritual sector, a romance sector, also a sector sometimes associated with your spiritual mind, then we can see that there's going to be a lot happening in this area during the month of September. We see, for example, on the second Mercury moving there after having spent uh, approximately a month there in your zone of domestics with the sun, which is also there up until the 23rd, still affecting your uh, family life your domestic situation. But that's all going to shift. Um, your mind and your communication, your, you know, your activities will start to refocus on this area. It's a very creative area. And with this transformative power of Pluto in the 8th house, this is the opportunity, and if you know how to do it, to reconstitute some of these negative feelings into a really, truly uh, great work of art. And I'm not talking about painting or... or singing or any of that sort of stuff, although you may do that, I'm talking about your day-to-day -day life, the art of living. This is where your understanding of self, your awareness of your relationships can be absolutely transformed to make your day-by-day, moment-by-moment living a work of art. You know, often we postpone our happiness to some distant time in the future when this happens or when I get that or when I become this or so on and so forth. And while we're doing that, postponing the concept of happiness to some distant time in the future, we're missing what's happening in the moment. So the real art of living is to come back to the present moment. And that's really what these planets are doing. They're, they're, they're just reminding you of the fact that you are born to be happy, not at some time in the future. But right now. And so this movement of Mercury into this fifth sector, along with your karmic planet, does off afford you the opportunity to do that. Venus moves to Virgo, again, the domestic sphere on the sixth. You're still not yet finished <clears throat> with your domestic circumstances. Because Venus for you is a planet of expenditure. There could be some additional expenses uh, that you should factor in this month. The full moon takes place on the 9th in the sign of Pisces. Now that's quite nice because it actually has a lot to do with your professional life. And the full moon, of course, is reflective of your emotions, being in the career sector. That shows that you're likely, firstly, to be a little bit confused because Neptune is also transiting that part of the zodiac. But uh, maybe you'll be a little too emotional. Don't invest too much emotional energy. If you're able to segregate your emotions from the intellectual requirements of your work, then the moon can actually make you popular with the public, uh, give you the opportunity to sensitively and intuitively understand what needs to be done in your work to improve things. Uh, the other important transit there is the movement of Mars into your seventh house of vital relationships on the 14th. Now that's an important one. Mars is not particularly a friendly planet to you. Moving in your seventh house, that's going to bring with it a month or so of real, I suppose, challenges in your relationships. You're likely to find yourself confronted by several issues. And I think that's going to work hand in glove with the position of Pluto in your eighth house. That's the sexual house, along with all of these deeper emotions. So there could be some conflicts there. Fortunately, you've got Venus moving in that fourth sector, 
although that can, in the right angle to Mars, as the uh, month progresses and the next few weeks progress, also make you somewhat impulsive and reactive. So it's important for you to keep those feelings on a leash and really time when you say things and when you do things for the best results. As I said earlier, the 23rd, the sun moves to that fifth house. That brings with it a, a rush of creativity. That can also counteract some of the problems you're going to see in the uh, most personal relationships in your life. Mercury on the 28th moves into quickly into the uh, sixth house of work. So that's an interesting one because you've had that Mars and Saturn combination there showing a lot of frustration in the way you've been uh, doing your work or rather not being, being allowed to do your work. This could be obstructive people in the work environment. I'm also getting a sense that if some of you have pets, little animals, there could be some problems associated with them. And uh, at least at this time, you can make better communication with them if you've felt like you're ignoring them. Uh, this is the time to reconnect with pets because pets are very important in our lives. They, they can actually bring a whole lot of love and joy and warmth. So focus on them and perhaps some of you may find some health issues associated with them right now because of the position of Saturn. Nice finish to the month with Venus quickly moving out of Virgo into the positive fifth house, Libra again being the focus, bringing with it the start of some new relationships, some new opportunities to uh, smooth things over in your love life. I hope I'm going to see you here again next month. Don't forget to take a closer look at your month in focus, your daily readings and your year in focus as well at astrology.com.au. Till next month, have a good one. Bye-bye.